Welcome everybody to another episode of Latif's Inspired. I'm going to be doing you a fantastic recipe today. It's very uh, simple and it's absolutely flavoursome. Today is going to be lamb kofta kebab. Now I've kept it really simple and easy for you guys to do and I'm going to show you some phenomenal tips to have the most succulent and juicy lamb kebabs. These kofta kebabs are going to be so simple to do but flavoursome. Right, check out the recipes. Um, I've just got 500 grams of uh, lamb mince. This is a very good quality lamb mince. Um, it's got the fatty as well. Uh, the difference between the beef and the lamb, the beef, if it's not the right cut, it can be like a cardboardy tasty if you cook it too much. But lamb is a little bit more uh, fattier. And when you make kofta, it is phenomenal in flavor because I think personally because of the fat content and the flavors. Right, gonna use a bit of oil, neutral oil, um, to fry the uh, kofta. Got green chilies, this is about uh, eight green chilies. We've got some corn flour as we're gonna, it's gonna be a binder as well as the egg. We've got this lovely aniseedy fennel seed. This is gonna, when you have a little bite, we're not using too much, but that little bit that you'd get is gonna make that flavor just come out. Bit of seasoning for salt. We're gonna add all the spices, obviously. Some lovely chili flakes, ginger, garlic, onion, the usual suspects, and the, some coriander. Right guys, I've got my glove on today because I've been getting curry fingers. So right, what I'm gonna do, this is two, um, chopped onion, medium sized. So whack this in. And with the onions, um, I've got a tablespoon of ginger and a tablespoon of garlic. This in, um, Asian inspired food is essential or the onion, ginger and garlic. Right. <clears throat> I'm also going to add the green chilies cut into small pieces. And when you bite into the kebab, if you get a piece of this, it's going to be gorgeous. And this is actually more flavoursome as well. You can just use just chilli powder and get away with it, but you won't get that authenticity and flavour. Right, for spice, I've got these uh, chilli and chilli flake, chilli seeds that you get. So it's one teaspoon of that. Now, this is also, it's more for the flavour and the texture. And you get a light, nice little bite to it as well. Right, <clears throat> this is the, one of my secret recipes. This is the fennel seeds. When you bite into that, like I use in the onion bhaji as well, it's a very, very nice and aniseedy sort of flavour. It it's going to bring out the taste of the meat, most definitely. Right, for seasoning, we've got one teaspoon of salt. So that goes in. It's salt to taste, you can add more or less. Um, this for about, I normally use two teaspoons of salt for one kg. So I'm using one teaspoon for half a kg. But it's, gone, it's not going to be, uh, you can add a little bit more to get more flavour. But I'm adding this, it's just going to be right. So it might be just a little under, but it will be ideal because you can use dipping sauce and so on. And dipping sauce has um, lots of salt and sugar and so on. Right. So that's the spices uh, going in now. So I'm going to add, um, this is a slightly bigger than a teaspoon, guys. So bear that in mind. So one teaspoon of turmeric going in. Um, I'm using coriander, about one teaspoon of coriander. That's going in. And this is cumin. So I'm using one teaspoon of cumin. Now, if you want, you can add a bit of chili powder. We're not going to because I think there's enough uh, uh, spice level from the green chilies and the flake chilies. But if you want to add half a teaspoon or a teaspoon, depends on what you like. But if I was to recommend a nice and spicy one, I would say half a teaspoon, but we're not adding it, obviously. So that's gone in there. And now we're gonna add some coriander. So a good handful of coriander. You want to see the kebab, uh, bits of green inside the kebab, it's going to be gorgeous. So all we do, we mix the onions. The reason why we mix the onions like this is because all that spice is going to cover every piece of the onion. This is very important, you do this two-step mix. So there you go. It's very fragrant and aromatic at this point. Oh. Well, that, yeah. So the key to mixing is like squeeze out the juices from the onions and stuff. It's essential you do that. So there you go. Now, this lovely lamb. Now the lamb's going in. Now there you go. Mix this up. Is 
and you see the technique that I'm using basically squashing every piece so I get all that spice into the nut and cracky <laughs> nut and cranny of the lamb there you go so this about a couple of minutes I've been mixing now we're going to need a bind uh, to put it all together so just got one one egg That a nice little mix. Just gonna bind it all together. The more you mix it like this, the better it's gonna taste. Can you see the colours from the lamb? Wonderful. Now I'm gonna use a bit of corn flour. It's gonna put it all together. Similar job as the egg. So basically, your kofta kebabs, they're not gonna break away. That's why you're using corn flour. <laughs> I think I'm gonna to need to use my hand to get it a bit more. Nothing better than using your actual hand to get all that married up together. Now, when I went to my trip in Morocco, they made some lovely kebabs, but very simple and subtle ingredients they used. But I'm using a little bit more spices for maximum flavor. So check out some of my vlogs when I went to Morocco. Fantastic. And please uh, come on to my Instagram page and I'll do some daily, vid daily videos and news and so on and I try to interact with you so the lamb is ready now nice and mixed I mean look at that looks wonderful every piece of lamb is covered with spices and it's best to leave this for half an hour in the fridge and let all that fat and spices all come together so that's what we're going to do and then we're going to start cooking so we're waiting for the lamb and what we're going to do is just going to cook some chicken for the guys behind the scenes so we've got 30 minutes to wait for the lamb, so we're going to make a lovely little chicken shakora curry while we are waiting. Nice and hot. Add the onions and the garam masala, so the punch prawn, peppercorn, uh, we've got some cardamom and we've got some cinnamon, the dalcini, everything's going in. Garlic. It's a quick little dish that we're doing while we are waiting for the kofta. All this chicken curry is coming out wonderful. Loads of masala gone in. Look at these lovely cherry tomatoes. Gonna to be popping in our plates, yeah? Lovely jubbly. Now, gonna add the chicken in shortly. And the curry is just about done nearly. Sauce is ready. Chicken's going in. Wonderful. Well, this chicken's done. It's looking absolutely gorgeous. Coriander to garnish. Fantastic dish. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful. Zoom into that, mate. Phenomenal. Curry's done. Let's crack on with the kebab. Right, I've got some friends over. So we're having some pita bread, some rice, chicken curry, as well as the kofta. And we're making a hummus and we're making a chili sauce. Now let's crack on with the kofta. So that's about half a cup of oil going in. So it's kind of just less than half a cup, really. No, go on, half a cup of oil gone in. So the kofta has been in the fridge for a good half an hour. It's come together properly. Now the tip is make sure you have some oil uh, so you can oil your hand so the kofta doesn't stick to your hand. It's very important. So get a bit of oil like this, put it in your hand. And when the oil is heated up, make the kofta. Now I'm going to make it really simple for you guys to uh, to make this at home. So just smaller than a golf ball kind of thing. And then just pat it down like that. That's it really. So bismillah. There you go. So do the same. I'm add this one. Do the same. Bang. There you go. Keep on doing the same thing. Make it into a ball. Press it down with the three fingers or so. There you go, keep on doing this and always 
put a bit of oil on both pans again, like that. They need to be quite fast because you don't want the kebab to cook. Or what you can do beforehand, make your pâtés, oil a plate, and then put it onto a plate. There we go. Wonderful. Guys, when you're doing this at home, make sure you have a medium gas on. If you have it too high, you're gonna have really dark and um, browning on the outside, which you want when you have, there you go, look at that. That lovely crust is a phenomenal flavor in meat. That's what brings out the flavor of the meat. So the most important thing is you don't want to overcook the lamb. You want to sort of get that golden crust and leave it a little bit undercooked inside so it's got nice and um, soft texture. I mean, if you can see here the seeds, the chili seeds, the coriander, the green chilies, that's what's that lovely flavor. Look at that, phenomenal in color and enormous flavors these are gonna be. Now, uh, Reds, if you show this, look over here. I'm just making a few more while I've got a flipper friend flipping these kebabs, uh, which we're gonna enjoy. Just make a few more and get ready for the next batch. And if you've got a really good keen uh, chef with you, you can keep on doing this and somebody can keep on flipping it. Oh, wonderful. There you go. So it's literally, um, guys, it just takes about two to three minutes each side and then it's done. Yeah. <clears throat> so when you've got browning on both sides, and just drop it to the other side, please. So that's done literally two, three minutes each side. So about five, uh, four to six minutes to get this cooked. Now we're gonna put the next batch in. So right, the second batch, I've got these ready. Nice and simple, look at the wonderful colors. They go in. It's been a couple of minutes on a low gas. I'm going to put the gas up slightly. And it's got that browning effect. It needs a little bit more to be fair. For that wonderful flavour. There you go. This one's phenomenal. There we go. Tell you what, this is one of the most simple dishes in the world. But once you try this recipe, it's gonna be absolutely mind-blowing. That's a promise. So two, three minutes on this side, and it'll be done. Two, two, two and a half minutes. This side's done, here we go. Wonderful. Like I said, you might, you might as well have it a little bit undercooked rather than overcooked. And it becomes dry and cardboard-like taste, which we want to avoid. Right, that was very eventful, made a few things. Um, so let's give it a taste. I mean, look at these kebabs. I mean, if you're a meat eater, when you look at this, that should get your mouth the tap of the saliva should be coming on. So basically, mouth watering. So, right, so we've got some olives with a bit of feta cheese. This is store-bought, to be fair with you. This is our lovely dipping sauce. Tamarind, chili, coriander, garlic, phenomenal spices. This is gonna be our own chili sauce. If you wanna see this recipe, put it on the comment section and uh, hopefully I'll put it on for you. This is probably the best hummus in the whole wide world. This is how I like it. 
cumin inf uh, infused sort of cumin spiced hummus very nice very easy very simple drizzle of olive oil as well got some pita bread and now we're going to give this phenomenal kebabs lamb kofta a good taste right let's give this bad boys a taste now it's nice and soft oh there you go beautiful let's give it a taste that's in luck. Yep. Look at the juiciness. Zoom in. You see that? This one. That's the fat. This is what gives it the flavour. Get a bit of hummus. Mmm. Not blowing my own trumpet. That is absolutely to die for. Soft, succulent, juicy lamb kebabs. The right blend of spices. <clears throat> and then if you can see over here, the chili seeds, the fennel seeds, the coriander, the spices, and you got that browning of the meat and tender and soft and juicy. Look at that. The onions, the garlic, the ginger. This is to die for. Very nice. Let's put it in the dipping sauce. Mmm, I can keep going. If you've enjoyed this um, recipe, you enjoyed my tips, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more fantastic videos at the Teas Inspire. See you soon. Behind the scenes food. So a few of us are eating the hummus, tamarind chili sauce, pita bread, Kofta kebabs, trio of olives with feta, chicken, buna with boiled rice.